What are you working on, bud? They say that teaching doesn't end at four o'clock, and it's absolutely true. Make a space. If a child needs to come to school to be loved, then that's what you need to do. Because if they're not taken care of, it doesn't matter if you're teaching them how to read or you're teaching them how to write. Learning will be second nature, but you need to love them first. And if that's giving them a hat and scarf, then that's what you need to do. I'm Jen Dauber. I'm a kindergarten teacher here at Buckeye Valley East, and I make sure that all my students are warm and safe in their homemade hats and scarves. Look, said Sue Ann, footprints. Let's follow them. One of the things that we do in our classroom as well as in our school is we let the students know that you are loved. If students feel that they're loved, then they're going to want to learn and they're going to want to be here. Whoosh. Every class that you have, no matter um, how big the class is or how small, there's always a handful of kids that you know just don't have their basic needs met as far as proper clothing for like the weather. And not that their parents don't, you know, want them to have that, but maybe they just can't. Over the past five years, um, I've probably been able to provide hats and scarves to about 125 students here at Buckeye Valley East. It wasn't like an entire class originally. It would be a couple kids and I'd be talking to my mom and I would say, you know, mom, I, I hate to see these kids. They don't have proper clothing to be outside. They, you know, don't have any hats or scarves. And my mom, who is an avid crocheter, she's like, well, I have some that I've done that are just sitting here. Let me mail them to you. And then the next year she's like, you know, I think that I could make those for your whole class to make sure everybody has a hat and a scarf in the winter time. Ladies and gentlemen, show me you're ready for the holidays. So many teachers do stuff beyond, you know, coming to school and teaching, reading and writing and math. Teachers have snacks or food in their classroom because their kids might come to school hungry. I know our PE teacher is known for paying lunch tabs when a kid doesn't have lunch money. Teachers constantly go above and beyond, but they don't think about it. They don't think they're going above and beyond. That's just part of the job. Everybody in this building is, you know, doing stuff like that every day, all day. I get complete fulfillment out of being a teacher. No matter how stressful it is, ultimately the kids are what you're here for. Every day, the love that they show you back, you know, is, is worth everything. Yeah.